What led Congresswoman Katie Hill to resign? Hill, a first-term House member from California, announced her resignation after allegations she had inappropriate relationships with subordinates, as well as the publication of nude photos of her on the conservative blog Red State and the Daily Mail Online. Hill, who is openly bisexual, said she had been in a relationship with a campaign staffer during the final years of what she called an abusive marriage. She was also accused of having a relationship with a member of her congressional staff, which would be against House rules. Hill denies that allegation. Releasing intimate images of someone without their consent, commonly known as revenge porn, is illegal in California and many other states. Hill's estranged husband is a man standing next to her. He has not replied to repeated requests for comment from CNN. But Hill says he is part of a smear campaign built around cyber exploitation. Having private photos of personal moments weaponized against me has been an appalling invasion of my privacy. As long as I'm in Congress, we'll live fearful of what might come next and how much it will hurt. I will fight to ensure that no one else has to live through what I just experienced. Some people call this electronic assault, digital exploitation. Others call it revenge porn. As the victim of it, I call it one of the worst things that we can do to our sisters and our daughters. As I have before, I will stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Because there is one thing that I know for sure. I will not allow my experience to scare off other young women or girls from running for office. We've kind of learned just from being on this planet that being involved with somebody at work, uh, especially a subordinate, is usually going to work out poorly, especially when you have a huge spotlight on you like this woman did. Now you throw in the fact that she's in a throuple and that's going to affect the way people look at you. Because yes, people that are progressive are saying, thank you for talking about polyamory, but also people that are progressive would be like, you should not date a subordinate as as we've seen in Hollywood. These are ways that men in some in so many ways get a pass uh, by the press, they get a pass by their colleagues, they get a pass by their party. Um, And I know with Katie Hill, we're dealing with multiple issues simultaneously, um, ethically and also legally, but something doesn't sit right with a lot of Democrats and something doesn't sit right with a lot of women this evening with how this all sort of shook out. We encourage people, yeah, just go do you. Nobody's gonna, nobody cares what you did when you were younger right. and running. Right. And you say to people, don't do that. Don't yeah. put your pictures out with you in a bomb. Because yeah. eventually you may yeah. want to have a different kind of gig. Well, she, Why like, would you really? take a picture? I, just, it's just you waiting to get, you are resigned. <laughs> you just resign father as soon serious. as you do that. These news outlets have enabled abuse of this woman. I mean, this is incredibly traumatic. And I say this as a person who had much milder private photos published. But to be in the public eye like that, to have your clothes literally ripped off in the public square, and to have enabled what appears to have been the abusive husband to completely shame her and force her to resign, I just think it's I think it's horrible. It was a crime, right? I mean, I think yes. that's the thing. We're, we're, it's not just an invasion. We're talking about a crime and that the media helped legitimize a crime. Hill said she will pursue legal action against the publication of the photos and a special election will be held to decide who will fill Hill's congressional seat. I'm Kayla Jardine. That's a look at the 360.